Oh my gosh, it's baby season galore. Babies galore right now. Let's see, these are rat corns. Those are not hatching yet, all right. We've got moonstone eggs, the corn snake rescue that laid eggs on us. Uh, nope, they're not hatching yet, but they're growing. They're looking pretty good. Oh my gosh, those are Audrey's babies. Oh my gosh, we have more baby hog noses. No way. Oh my gosh, that's an albino superconda. <gasps> yes, I can't believe that. I brought them in back and, oh, oh no, you sucked back in. Ed's not gonna believe me anymore that you're a superconda. Oh, well, we've got you, goofball, upside down. I can see spots on your side. You are a conda albino. Hello, oh, you're so goofy. What are you doing upside down? Are you confused? You don't know what's going on? And look at your little face. Oh my goodness, I can see your egg tooth. You can kind of see the egg tooth right there anyway. Ed, look, 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 look. Our very first albino superconda is in here. What it's, is he doing? I don't know what that one is doing. That's the albino conda that is confused. Hey, hey. <laughs> do you want to like flip over? No, he's comfy like that. He's happy upside down. You're gonna like there. mess him up. Okay, th <laughs> wow, that's a really pretty conda. <laughs> Look at those spots. Okay, so that one right there is an albino superconda. And I don't he is. believe you. That looks like a normal. He is. I swear. I swear there's no spots nah. on him at all. That's definitely a superconda. You're lying. And I think... That's a normal orconda. That's a normal orconda. Should we cut these today or tomorrow, you think? Oh, uh, let's give it a few hours before we go home and then we'll cut them. Okay. Okay, here's Audrey. Audrey's the mom and we bought her as a baby from a Tinley show, our very first Tinley show. She is a conda, 100% het albino, which now we know is true. And here she is, Audrey. Hi, pretty girl. She's a nice conda too. She has a very reduced pattern, very few spots. And this girl, it was her first year breeding and she actually double clutched on us. Not that we wanted her to, but she did. So we have a second clutch cooking between her and Bueller, who is a proven male for us, a conda albino. <gasps> there you are, you pretty boy. Hello. Hi, buddy. All right, so by breeding these two, since both of them are condas, which is a pattern removing gene, a patternless gene, every baby has a one in four chance of being a normal with a bunch of spots as, as they appear in the wild. Each baby has a 50% chance of being a conda with a reduced pattern like mom and dad. And each baby has a one in four or 25% chance of being a super conda, which would mean it received the conda gene from both parents. And that means it would have no spots at all. And what are the odds? One of the first babies we see is a super conda. Uh, I am so excited for this clutch. I can't I can wait. hardly tell. I know, I pulled him out of the office to yeah. cut these eggs. I'm in the middle of doing IT stuff and I'm always like, let's go cut eggs Not now. important, we have eggs to cut. Okay, so for each of these babies, let's first off take another look. Yeah, ah! he sucked back in a little bit. Oh, he did! Boop, boop. He really has Audrey's pattern with the really reduced spots. Okay. Like the small spots. That's a, it's still conda. Sometimes condas have big spots, sometimes they're small. That super conda, which I swear is a super conda, just it. sucked back into Looks his egg. Just like a normal conda to me. So the first thing we're gonna do when cutting each one? of these eggs. Oh, it's an albino. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to hit you. This one, I mean, we'll take a look in a second. So the first thing we're going to look for with these babies is whether or not they're normal colored or albino. And then that'll be pretty obvious. You can kind of see through the eggshell which ones are albino. Uh, and then we're gonna look at their pattern. We're gonna see, are they a normal pattern, a conda, or a super conda? So I hope, I mean, we already hit one albino so super conda. A super conda, is yeah. that a one in eight? Uh, let's see, we can do the math. So each one has a 50% chance of being albino times each one has a one in four chance of being a super conda. So what's one fourth or 25% times one half, which is 50%. I think that's one eighth. 0.125, a 12 and a half percent chance. Is so it would eight? be a one and eighth. Yeah, okay. one and eight, you're right. One and eight or 12% chance. There you go. Oh. That's kids where that math movement. comes in handy in the, your adult life yep. is genetics for snakes. We're we just figured it out genetics. using math. He's moving. Okay, with all the math behind us now. Well, I think I can tell that's a normal. That's a normal. Those two are normals. Colors. Those two are normals. And yeah. all the, maybe that's a normal, but these four are definitely yeah. albinos. Yeah, this egg just has a pinkish hue to so it. So does that one, and so does that one. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so He's let's. trying to suck back in or Aww. something. Did you change your mind? Are you trying you to come? You don't want to hatch? Aww. Okay, well then let's cut the normals first to see if they are condas or super condas. <laughs> goodbye. Oh, jeez. Okay, goodbye. You can hatch another day, apparently. <laughs> 
All right, so first, yes, we have the belt right here, the belt baby, and this one. Oh, oh he there he completely goes! Sucked wow, in. he unhatched. Yeah, I didn't know they could really do that that I guess well. Yes, they can. Okay, well, the uh, conda albino has unhatched himself. Yeah, the sock baby. The sock baby. All right, so belt baby. Hi, I see your little face. Can I open this up so you don't get stuck? Since you hog noses tend to do that. Yeah, I also want to open it up a little bit so I can take a peek and see if you are a conda or a normal. Are you upside down? Oh, we have a black belly and white walls along the belly. So we're either a conda or a super conda. So if we see any spots, which, oh, oh spots. there's spots. Yep. Okay, we are a conda. Nice. Okay, next up is the sweatshirt baby here. Okay, sweatshirt baby. We don't know if this one is a conda or an albino. So that's the first thing we have to figure out. I think it's a like regular, normal. Uh, yeah, I think it's a normal too. So probably conda. Okay, we have baby on the inside. Oh, oh, there's a face. What are you? Oh, we are a normal color, but do we have any spots? Or are we, oh, that's a super Very conda. Super. Yep. Nice! All right, so we have a super conda right there. That's the sweatshirt. Okay, so that's a normal super conda. What is the skirt baby? And we know that's an albino conda. Yeah, we know that's an albino conda, so we're gonna jump right over here. We have a baby whose nose is poking out, but hi, hi. Can I open this up a little bit more so I can see what you are? Oh, I see spots. We are a normal color. Oh, that's totally We're a conda. conda. Nice. Yeah, definitely like spaced out spots. We yep. have a reduced pattern there. All right, so that's a conda. Next up is the dress baby. Are we albino? Nope. Oh, we're I can see spots on through the window. Oh, can you? Yep. Oh, look at that. Okay, this one we don't even have to open up. That one is a conda morph. Nice. Normal colored conda. Okay, next up is the shoe. This one cut a little slit, but it's not nearly big enough to get out through, so we're going to definitely have to split this one open a little bit. Oh, just... he even cut the vein himself. He did. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna tear a little bit wider of a hole. Oh, we're normal color, and I see, ooh, I see a lot of spots. spots. Yep. Do you think that's a normal? Oh yeah. Yeah, totally I think I think so too, yep. Definitely a little normal in there, or lots. Oh, you think? Well, is there a chance of getting a? Yeah, a one in four. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's a normal then. Yeah, Sorry. yep, you can see all sorts of spots, so yeah, I think that is a normal. Technically, that's one in eight as well. That's true, yeah, there's just as much of a chance of getting a normal as there is Getting Eight. that. So these two had the exact same amount of possibility of getting in this clutch. Wow. So oh. Hopefully we don't get another one of those and we get another one of those. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> let's move on to the shorts egg. Shorts has not pipped yet. I think this one's, oh yeah, it's an albino. <gasps> oh, that totally looks like another super. It does, I don't see any spots through the egg. Okay, let's find out. Come on, shorts, baby. We know you're albino. Be a super conda. There's the head that stamp. Is, yeah, that's totally, I saw it. Really? Yeah, that's <gasps> totally another super. Yes, we got another! There's no spots on that one! Holy cow! Two albino super condas! Wow! All right! So let's put you back there. That is so cool! We got two of them! Okay, is there a theme with the drawings? That's shorts and that's underwear. So I'm Bra. thinking... That's in the same category. Well, I was thinking things that cover your crotch area. Uh, Clothing that well, covers your that crotch. One didn't. That one didn't. Oh, and this one didn't either. That's shorts, yeah. cargo shorts. Never mind. So I'm guessing undergarments. Because you Under wear shorts under your. Yeah, maybe those were briefs, not yeah. shorts. I think they were actually boxer briefs. Yeah. Oh, so maybe it is undergarments. Okay, let's see if the bra is also an albino superconda. With the color, it looks albino. Yeah. It looks orangey to me. Okay, bra baby. Are we another albino superconda? I think we're just a normal albino conda. <gasps> oh, I see spots. Yeah, totally spots. Yep, albino normal, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not a condor or anything, just an albino yeah, normal. Like an albino normal. Nice, all right. Still a beautiful albino. So now we're gonna jump down here to the cargo shorts baby. This one, we're gonna open up a little bit. He did make a little incision weird, or cut. It's cloudy goop. Oh, weird. His nose is right there. Yeah. Huh, okay. Well, we can take a look at your backside he then. It is conda. Conda or a normal? Maybe a low expression conda? Maybe. Could be. Okay, there we go. Got that one. And then the pants baby. You've got your little face sticking out. Oh, you're so cute. You are... Conda. A conda, yep. yep. Reduced spots, definitely a conda. And the last baby who's blowing spit bubbles over here <sighs> is an albino. But is it a normal, a conda, or another super conda? Let's find out. It is... Oh, a <gasps> spots. normal. Is it a normal? Yeah. Yep, that's a normal. All right. There you go, there buddy. You go. Albino, normal. So we got two albino supers. Yeah, we have one normal superconda, two albino superconda's, um, an albino 
Conda, I don't remember the rest. I We're just gonna have to. Three albino condas, one albino normal. Okay. And then some condas and oh some normals. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until these albino super condas come yeah. out because those are the first ones we have ever produced here. That's it's so cool. been a dream, like a goal to produce an albino super conda. I mean, yeah, it's not like super fancy, like an, uh, a super conda snow or a super conda lavender, but just albino super is something we've been wanting for a long time to create. So let's check them out tomorrow and see if they come out of their eggs. Go to sleep, little babies, and then come out. I'm so excited for these babies. Yeah. There's some really pretty snakes in here, yeah, and I are. think I definitely see. I see some super condas nests out. Yes, okay, let's take a look. All right. And you're wearing the perfect shirt for this. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Drama Queen Hognose shirt. You can get this at snakediscoverystore.com. Are we ready for this? I think we are. Ready to see our very think, first albino yeah, super? From what I can tell, that looks like one. That's absolutely one. Let's take a look. <gasps> oh my <gasps> gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Hey, where's the other one? This one? Oh, he's... No, that's... Is that one still in the egg? No, that's a that's a condo. Oh, oh it might condo. be that one. Oh, are you the other super condo? Just see his little face sticking out. He's like, no, you, you cannot see me. You cannot. Oh, let's take let's cheat though. Oh, yep, it's totally the super. <laughs> <laughs> you can see through the window. Oh, little super condo, you can come out and play. That one's coming out to play. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, see, I told you there was an albino super conda. Proof right here. Our very first one. That's oh. So cool. I am so excited. We've been wanting to produce one of these for a long time. And look at this conda now that he's out. This one is so pretty. Aww. I love the like reduced spots on him. Mm -hmm. Gosh, his whole pattern, the whole way down is just gorgeous. Did we get a regular super? Uh, yes, I think there is a regular super conda in here too. Has he hatched though is the question. Oh yeah, it's totally that one. You can come out now. Oh mm -hmm. wait, nope, I see spots. Oh, yeah, there's spots on that That's one. a conda. Okay, you, well, conda, you can still come out. Was it you? You little cutie, are you the super? Nope, I see spots. You're another conda. I thought we got a normal super, a regular super, but maybe, maybe we didn't. Oh, oh there's, there's one, one more in there. here. Oh no, I see spots. My Good. guess is this one we thought was a super because his spots are really reduced. Ah, so we okay. saw his side and thought it was a super. So I bet that one's actually just a condom. We did get a normal. There's oh, our yeah. normal. Oh my gosh, look at these cons. Oh, whoa, look at this one. This one's like a chocolate chip cookie. Look at his cool little spots. Aww. Whoa, he has like little mini dashes and a bunch of teeny little spots. This guy's pattern is all over the place. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's really pretty. Cool. And then we've got... This little conda right here. His con this is kind of more of a typical conda. It's still really pretty Black though. Belly. Black belly. Oh yeah. Oh nice. And the white walls along the side. Those are the three things to look for for a good expression or good quality conda. The reduced pattern on the back, the all black belly, and the white walls along the side of the belly. And you hit all three of those, dude. Good yeah. job. And then we've got a nice little conda over here. He's really pretty too. Black belly. Yep, black belly. Oh, you're so, <laughs> are you just gonna sit like that? I'm are, so scared. Are you so shy? Oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh. Look how the albinos are taking their time to come out. They are. They're making us wait for them. Yeah. That's for sure. All right. Well, we will have to give them another day before we can finally see the second albino superconda right there. I can't wait to see him. Audrey and Bueller's babies are out. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there they all are. Aww. Oh, they are Look out. At that one. Like the double spotting that's going on there. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice conda. That's a nice conda. Here's a nice albino super yeah, conda. I mean, that's a nice conda. Yeah, wow, that one's so cute. And then we have a nice conda here. Look at the uniformity of his spots. Spot, 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 spot. But that one's really nice. Look at the crazy like double lines going Whoa. on down this one's back. Is that is that like stretched skin or is that just part of his pattern? That is super cool. Yeah, he has like a racing stripe gap in between two rows of scales. Weird. That's really kind of cool. I've never what seen a male that. Or a female? This is a well, male. A male for sure. Okay, so, so one of the one. supers is a male. You are another male. So we have two male super condas. All right, look at honestly, that. Honestly, if you're looking for a breeder at that point. Yeah, yeah, really. Well, he can be paired to lots of females. Mm-hmm. Man, he is pretty. There's a giant pile of babies that oh. goes all the way down right there. That's an awesome Can you guys one. move? <laughs> I want to see what's down here. Oh my God, you guys are making this difficult. Of course. Eh. Okay. So what do we have? We have a nice conda right there. Nice reduced pattern. We have a normal oh, in the mix. Oh, look at that normal. Oh, this is perfect. Look, we have a normal wild type color and a normal albino nice. right here. Super cute. This is a really nice albino. He's super bright. Let's see, We what else do we have? Ooh, look at this conda. That one has some cool spots to it. 
Nice. And we have another conda down here. Oh, that's a lower expression conda. Ooh, this like one has... Sometimes they get this green look to them, and yeah. sometimes they keep like that brown. Oh, that's got like an orange down. Yeah, I was noticing that. He has like a stripe of orange down his back too. Oh, well there's an albino. Okay, here's another albino conda. Okay. Oh, this one's really pretty. That's a chunky one. Wow, yeah, this is a nice fat baby. Are you a boy or a girl? You are a girl! Aw, she's a nice fat little baby. They like the handles in this one, too. They do! You know, what I love about the Supercondas here is, oh my gosh, wow, okay, I want to point something out, too. I was going to point out the head stamp they still have. So look, first off, I still like how they keep a head stamp even though they lack all other spots. Yep. But neither of these are in shed. And look at the color difference between their heads. Yeah. One's I'm red. Like fire red and the other's yeah. like a yellow. That's gorgeous. This one's also creamier down the back. He is. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. It is just crazy the variation in all snakes. Yeah. This one almost has like a stripe down his back. Man, they are so pretty. All right. Well, this is a very colorful clutch. Should we set them up in baby bins? Sure. Oh my gosh, look at them all. This is the entire clutch in my hand. I love my life right now. Yeah, this so is super. Conda normal. Yeah, you can see the patternless gene in action. Yep. Oh, there goes the just conda. Falling out of your hands. Yeah, they have no regard for their own lives. Nope. Okay, let's get you in safe baby bins. All right, babies, time to put you in. And we're gonna keep them in pairs as usual to help the babies eat. That does seem to help baby hog noses start taking their first meals, is to keep them with a friend. And let's see, uh, for ease of record keeping, we are going to put an albino with a normal colored one so that their tags up front are easy to tell apart, or the babies are easy to tell apart when we're offering food. So here is an albino. Here's a normal to go with her. Albino and normal conda. Normal conda, albino conda. Okay, here's a conda with a super conda albino. So you're saying put the uh, the totally normal baby yes. in with the albino super conda? I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense for like what we're doing because we have two condas now, but... But it would be funny it to would have be funny, them. Yes. I feel like for record keeping, I probably shouldn't. Okay. But I can... no, we're gonna do it. All right. Okay, where's another conda we can put with one of these that's easy to tell apart? Um, that one's escaping. Let's see, of all the condas, how about Dark this? Dark conda, light conda? Yeah, there we go. More spots, less spots. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we can have our normal with the albino super conda. Yep. Oh my gosh. So many babies. We got a lot of albinos in this clutch. Yeah, there's some really pretty color and color variation in these. Wow, are there any keepers in here? Are we gonna, I don't know if we need to keep an albino super conda if they're no. both males. Yeah. So we'll probably let both of them go actually. If anything, maybe uh, one of the albino condas, if they're really pretty and good eaters. Yeah, we'll see. Like this one's gorgeous, even yeah, though her cheeks are sticking out. She's not That's happy. Yes. She doesn't like her leaf. No, <laughs> that is a bad leaf. Apparently. <laughs> wow. Okay, well what's gonna happen next is we are going to offer them their first meals. Hopefully they all take frozen thawed pinkies for us, but we have some tricks up our sleeves if any of them are deciding to be a bit picky. And once they have eaten several meals of unscented frozen thawed pinkies successfully, then we will offer them to people on our wait list. We have quite the wait list. It definitely filled up within three minutes minutes of it opening up to Patreon backers on March 1st. So I'm sure all of these guys will be claimed by those on the wait list, but with how many babies we're getting, we, I think we're gonna be able to get through a decent portion of that wait list this year. Oh, that so, one went under the, the cork bark. Oh, it did what we wanted it to do. They're already using it. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Now this one's cobraing at you. Oh. Like head up and everything. Oh, <laughs> I, am I scary? I kind of like her sass. My scary little. Oh. oh, the long tongue <laughs> flick. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. Let us know which baby is your favorite from this clutch. I don't know. I, I, I would choose the albino supers, but there's some really pretty condos in here too, so I really don't know. I like that one. This right super? There. Nope. Are you looking at that one? Nope. Are you looking at that one? Nope. The normal? Yep. Oh, of course, that one's your <laughs> the favorite. One covered in perlite. That one is a really cute little normal. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, and we'll see you next time. She's still angry. Still angry. Forever angry.